nine isn't startup. Stage two pressing for flight. Go for launch. Stage one pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. So at T plus 47 seconds into flight, everything is looking nominal. We're currently preparing to throttle down as we enter max Q. Vehicle supersonic. There you just heard we pass through max Q. We will now throttle back up. MVAC engine chill. There you heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. This is the point in which, like I mentioned before, we start to flow the super cold liquid oxygen into the turbo pumps, bringing them down to flight temperatures. This helps us reduce the temperature difference between the liquid oxygen and the hardware. Everything looking good with stage one trajectory. Main engine cut up, cut off. <coughs> Miko one approaching now. that the second engine, second stage engine has lit the gorgeous red orange glow of that nozzle. We're now at T plus three, and a, three minutes and five seconds into flight. Coming up next will be fairing deployment. Now that second stage is in the vacuum of space, uh, we don't need the fairing anymore. So in order to improve our vehicle efficiency, we shed the extra weight. Let's check in on the status of the Falcon 9 booster. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen deployment of bearing. Bermuda acquisition of signal.
While stage two is doing its job, stage one will be coming back home to Earth, and it will also execute two burns, the first of which is the entry burn. First stage is traveling at roughly 2,300 meters per second, and this three-engine burn helps to slow the stage down. The second of the stage one burns is called the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly from about 250 meters per second all the way down to two meters per second in order to gently land on the drone ship. As I mentioned earlier, for this mission, first stage re-entry conditions are predicted to be the most challenging for any recovery attempt to date. It is possible that we might lose our camera feed during the landing attempt due to the drone ship's position over the horizon, but if that happens, we will bring you an update as soon as we reestablish connection. Stage one landing should occur about 25 seconds following second stage engine cutoff. The entry burn will be coming up here in about two minutes. It is T plus five minutes and 27 seconds, and we're just under a minute until the entry burn begins. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So on your left screen, you can see the first stage coming down, and you'll see a bright a bright light when the entry burn begins there. We're just about 25 seconds away from entry burn. And you can also see on your right screen the second stage. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry startup. And their entry burn has begun. This should last about 18 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And entry burn is complete for first stage. Next, coming up at about T plus eight minutes will be a rapid series of events. This will include the first second stage engine cutoff, or SICA-1, the start of the landing burn followed by the first stage landing. SICA-1 and the landing burn will occur within four seconds of each other, followed by the stage one landing shortly after that. And we are at T plus seven minutes and 22 seconds. So we're just under a minute to seek a one. Terminal guidance. Stage one entry transonic. And that second stage engine is glowing bright there. When Seco 1 starts, that engine will turn off. Stage 2 FTS is saved. Stage 1 landing startup. We have Seco 1. Stage one, landing with the pool. It sounds like, there you go on your screen, we do have a successful first stage landing, despite the challenging conditions there. And we also got confirmation of stage two in good orbit. Now we are about to enter the post phase, so we are going to take a quick break. Welcome back to the webcast.
MVAC D on our second stage has begun engine chill and it is about to briefly reignite for the second and final burn of tonight's mission. And then it will begin deployment of today's payloads. First will be Space IL and then the new Centaurus Satu satellite. As we mentioned earlier, another payload will be riding along on today's mission, an experimental small satellite for the U.S. Air Force Research Lab, but we won't be able to catch uh, footage of that particular deployment this evening. We'll see a second engine start at T plus 27 minutes, and it'll be burning over Gabon for, oh, it's burning right now, there we go, <laughs> lit. <laughs> uh, so you can see that, that gorgeous glow, it's burning over Gabon now for about a minute, and then we'll have second engine cutoff, um, around T plus 28 minutes, seven seconds. Approaching SECO 2 in 10 seconds. MVAC shutdown. And confirmation of MVAC shutdown there. As that red glow begins. And confirmation that the MVAC shot down there is that red glow slowly begins to fade away. Now we're just going to wait until no, 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 we orbit, have orbit. good orbit. And we just had confirmation that stage two is in a good orbit. So at this point, we'll be coasting for the next five minutes or so. And we will be back uh, just after T plus 33 minutes. We are coming up on our first deployment of the night, the Space IL Lunar Lander, in just about 10 seconds from now, 18 seconds from now. Now you should be able to see this on your screen. Space IL, space draft separation confirmed. And we've got confirmation of separation. can kind of see that there on your screen. So it's a little bit bright there because of the sun, so it's very difficult to see separation there, but... Uh, but we've had a successful deployment of the Space IL Lunar Lander, a first non-governmental lander to make its way to the moon. Welcome back to the webcast at T plus 43 and a half minutes. Uh, we're about a minute away from deployment of the new Centaurus Satu satellite. If you've just joined us, we've had a really great day so far. Beautiful uh, liftoff from Cape Canaveral, a successful landing of a rather spicy landing attempt on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Um, great deployment of the Space IL Lunar Lander just about like, a few minutes ago. And now we're just waiting for our final, our, our last deployment that we'll be able to see today, New Centaurus Satu. So that'll be coming up just in a few seconds. seconds away from deployment. And there you can see on your screen visual confirmation of deployment for the new Centaurus satellite. And with that, that brings our webcast to a close this evening.
thanks to SSL, PT Telcom Indonesia, Space IL, and Israel Aerospace Industries for entrusting us with tonight's mission. Thank you also to the 45th Space Wing for range safety and to the FAA for licensing today's launch.